ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Great Gibraltar Draft with Hound Dogs. And today we've got the second leg of our Europa Cup first knockout round, and things have gone our way. And we're looking good this season. Um, it's Dynamo Kiev who we're taking on. We have actually done very well. So let's show you quickly the first leg and how we got on in that one. So we made the most of our home advantage actually getting the win. Uh, Romero with the first one, a header from a corner. Uh, we did almost get double our lead with a disallowed goal um, from a corner. But it was Dynamo Kiev to strike next. Sian Gankov with a volley from a lovely ball in, to be fair. Um, we did manage to take our lead, though, going into the second leg, um, making it 2-1. Saranic working down this right-hand side. He played it back for Romero to get his second of the game, and we've got the advantage. So there you go. As you can see, we are 2-1 up so far in the game. Um, Hound Dogs are still top of the league. We're still flying. 42 points to 29. Um... I mean, Mons Cow on 29 points have zero goal difference and we have 28. I mean, that kind of shows you how we've performed this season. We've been fantastic in the league. Um, still continuing to play very, very well. Um, we did lose the first leg against Europa FC in the Pepe Reyes Cup, but we corrected things quite swiftly with a 5-0 win um, and then a 1-0 win in the Intermediate League Cup first round um, against Lincoln or first leg against Lincoln. Um, we have got Lincoln in the Cup final as well, the Pepe Reyes Cup. So that'll be coming up um, a good little competition, possibly another trophy, which will be nice. Um, otherwise, we are looking pretty good. Transfer-wise, there has been a few things to update you on. Now, um, as the cat's tail flies past the screen, um, you can see... Let me see if we have actually got it up here. Um, we saw Pereira de Sa, uh, and Iharan, and Bonner, and Emmerling, and Kavanagh, and... Oh, you saw Thern, I think. So, yeah, Kavanagh... Um, has left us. He was moaning. He wasn't getting game time. I was like, okay, we got a bit of money for him. Um, we lost a lot of money, but we got some money back. He's gone to Mons Kalp. I'm fine with that. Nothing too much to worry about. We also sold Tim Emmerling, um, another youth player that we brought in at the end of last season on a free. Um, he's left us. He's gone back to Germany with Lok Leipzig. Um, he's played quite a bit more for them. Uh, and we made a little bit of money on him. So can't complain too much. Solomon Bonner, uh, 20k we sold him for to um, the Ukrainian team Veres. Um, so and I think over the time we made a made a bit of money. Um, obviously not the 200k we paid for him, but we got a little bit of money back, which isn't I'm not too bothered about. Um, Ethan 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 Aaron er, er, um, he's gone out on loan to Lincoln. He wasn't getting the game time he wanted, and it's probably understandable. We brought him in as a left back when playing more of a wing back role. He's not really playing in that position. So there's kind of a few bits going on there. And unfortunately, Roly Pereira de Sa has left us now. Um, he's gone to Mallorca. He wanted some more game time. He wasn't really getting it anymore. I wanted him to be more of a backup experienced player. Um, but he wanted to go, and I wasn't going to say no to him. We got 325000 for him, so a good amount of money um, for him. We have managed to boost up our academy system as well. Um, our youth recruitment's gone up. Our training facilities and youth facilities are all um, increasing, improving them as well. Um, I don't think we can actually request um, increase in our youth yet. Um, but yeah, we've, we're, we're working on that as well, which is good. Um, a few of the players are also working into our under 23s. You can see a couple of the players, Brandon Stones being one of them. Um, and then we've also got Stuart Marks as well as the other one. So a couple of players working their way into the under 23s um, who might be able to appear at some point. Not likely, but hey, it's worth, um, worth having a go. Back to transfers though, because I did obviously miss people. Um, the first one would be Pedro Oliveira. Um, I thought very good signing. 700k from VTSC, um, but I think he's got plenty of potential. 19 years old, could be very, very good, especially next year, especially with our five at the back we're now playing. Um, also can play right back if needed. And then we've also signed someone, uh, Fausto Vera. I'll make sure I get his face in the game for the next one um, or at the end of the season when he will be joining us on a free. Uh, again, I think he's a very good signing for a centre midfielder, um, a deep line playmaker, central midfielder sort of role. I think he's got very well rounded. He takes the team up to another level, 
which is obviously very good and a bit of experience as well at some top, top teams. Um, so with that said, let's jump into today's game. Um, we will be playing our 5-2-1, 5 2 one 5 2 2 one 5 4 one five whatever um, formation. Al Diaby in goal, who's had plenty of people want trying to buy him. Al Nasser being um, the big ones who keep coming in for him. But I'm hoping that that doesn't last and they give up at some point. Um, Umbayaba, Harpas and Murray at the back. El Tayeb and Soler either side with Michael and Vitinho in the middle. Um, Saranic, Chibozo and Romero up top. Romero's wanted by Las Palmas, hoping he doesn't leave us. Um, the other player to note is Gabriel Vinicius will be leaving us at the end of the season. He's joining Hibernian of all teams. Bit mental for a, um, a Brazilian. He wanted more game time. We weren't going to give it to him. He just isn't quite at the level. He's 20 years old now. And I mean, I just, yeah. So we cashed him. Um, I think we got 300,000 for him or something. I'm not sure. But we made a profit either way. Um, but let's jump into the game. Enough about transfers. Let's focus on today's game. Uh, get through to the next round of the Europa League. Um, see if we can, how far we can get. We're obviously in Russia for today's game. Um, in real life, they are all banned from European competition in the footballs. But in this, they're still about, so we will have to take them on. We've got the one goal advantage. Um, we are away, however, and they are in their kind of home turf of it being very cold as well. And in Gibraltar, it's very, very nice and hot and sunny. So hopefully, we can react to that. But here we go. Ten minutes in, and we're looking good. Uh, we've had a shot, shot on target. Possession's looking okay. We're looking like a top team at the moment. Um, no real concern so far. And they, they've somewhat matched us. Um, with their formation as well. So um, things are looking okay. Although Shaparenko is going to take this free kick. It's a long range effort. But it is well wide of the target. El Diaby obviously had that covered clearly. He obviously knew it was going well wide. Um, there's a lot of very good teams um, in the Europa League this year. We've got Benf likes of Benfica, Monaco, Feyenoord, PSV, um, Ajax as well as Shakhtar, Lille uh, and Juventus as well. So... If we do get, manage to get through, it'll be tough to see who we face. Um, but, hey, we've got to get through and then we can take it step by step. But it is Pepe into Sarenko on the edge of the box. He looks back to Pepe, um, who's going to get that shot off at the near post. It hits the post and Harpass does manage to clear it in the end. Um, but a little bit of a nervy moment there as it looks like we're coming to half time. We've only got a minute left to go um, as things stand. Sekogov. I oh, crikey, that was I don't even know if that was a word, let alone a name, someone's name. Um, <laughs> but half time, nil nil. Uh, Vitinho is looking poor after the knock, so I think what we will do is bring on Ivan Rangel. He is another player that has been wanted. Um, he's requested to go. Um, well, we've said we will let him go because all the players moaned at us about it, but he's been so good for us. Um, so it's a little bit of a shame. But I think that's all we'll do at the moment. I think that's good. We might look to bring Carroll on um, at some point for Chibozo if he continues to have a poor game. But we've not looked too bad. They've only had one shot on target. So they've only tested um, our DRB once, really. So nothing too much to concern ourselves about at this moment. They've made a couple of substitutions, um, just like we've made one. But we will certainly be looking to make another one. Uh, as they do come forward down this left-hand side, it's played down the wing to, I'm not going to even pronounce it, Sharapenko, um, Popescu into Yarmuluk. He looks for a switch over De Pauli, um, who's coming down this right-hand side. Can we get that blocking? We can't, as Ricardinho's shot is smashed over the bar. It was on a plate for him. He could have really done something there, um, but not quite able to get that on target with 20 minutes to go we are looking very very solid i have to say i've i mean we've not looked great going forward we haven't really created anything um but what i will do is bring on Carroll for uh chibozo on that left hand side there um and we can maybe look to bring torben carlson on at left wing back if needed if the game goes on like this just to waste a little bit more time um as he's starting to get good at left back. He's starting to really understand the role a bit more. Um, or at left wing back, I should say. Um, Saranic, though, on the ball now. Um, he's cutting inside. Looks for a switch of play over to the left-hand side. Carroll's looking to chase that, but it is played back to the keeper and dealt with uh, and cleared long. And they will look to go forward here. It's played straight through Shagankov, um, who I think I managed to explain that one. But he did score. Uh, and that 
has leveled things up at two all. Right in the 83rd minute, them scoring, it's, it's a shame. It is a shame. We've we've done pretty well otherwise um, in the game to kind of nullify any of their attacks. But he got put through one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if the keepers managed to get a touch on that to try and push it higher or not. But either way, it's found its way into the back of the net, which we don't want to see. Um, and they are one new up in today's game. But we're coming forward here. Soler, um, down the left-hand side. I mean, what is that? I don't even know who you were looking to pass that to. Is they going to look to come forward now? Um, and if we concede here, I'm going to be so pissed. Because Soler has just had a mare. Murray's tackle isn't good enough. As it is managed to be cleared by Mbayamba. Mbayamba? Yeah, Mbayamba. What the... F I I'm all over the shop at the moment. With... Like, <laughs> with what I'm panicking now. Um... I'm panicking. I'm going to lose my job. I'm not going to lose my job. Hound dogs are very trustworthy in me. They believe in me. I've got them this far. I can take them further. I believe we can, before the 15-year mark, we could see a European trophy if we were in the Conference League. Um, <laughs> whether it's going to happen in these sort of divisions, I'm not so sure. As Jarmalenk gets put through and they've just scored again. Oh, dear. What are we going to do? Um, Soler, we will take you off. Um, I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know. I I mean, we're attacking already. Um, let's go very attacking, I guess. Uh, nope, it doesn't matter. We've just been knocked out. A 2-0. It's a shame. It's a shame. Um, late on as well. Uh, we obviously just weren't quite up to scratch. So we've been knocked out of the Europa League. At least we got to a knockout round. Um, it's improved from the season before in the Champions League where we didn't even get through to a, a knockout. We got through to the Europa League. If we can maybe improve next season as well, we could even go to the, another round after that. But um, I, I think we're, we're in a place where we do need to start sorting out the team, trying to get a get the squad into the right positions for the formation because um, we've got a lot of midfielders, a lot of wingers, that sort of thing. And Dungala's looking a bit jaded now. But experience, 35 years old, I like it. He was very good for us for the couple of seasons we had him playing in the first team. Um, and Carroll, hopefully he can continue to develop into a decent player. Romero's um, continuing his ability. 51 goals and 79 appearance for us isn't bad at all. Um, but we might need to look at upgrading him. Agile Jusu Chibozo, again, some nice pace on him, some good finishing. He might have to take over the advanced forward role, depending on kind of how things go. But with that said, we will leave it there. Um, obviously doing very well in the league. We are in the final of the Pepe Reyes Cup. And we're in the semi-finals of the Gibraltar Intermediate League Cup. We might either go to the end of the season. I'll kind of just play the finals, show you what's happened. If we get to both or one of them uh, and then go for the season review um, or I'll show you both finals. I'll decide when it comes to it. But with that said, we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel uh, and I will catch you in the next one.